Alright guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So I am being chased by the cops and I'm leaving the scene of the crime and getting out of here fast in the double mobile. Alright, so I'm gonna go kill some people. I don't know if I got any good jobs yet. Nope, all I got is Lester's jobs. Let's pay you a decent amount, but I prefer to play jobs that I already know how much they give you because I'm pretty sure Lester only gives you about 10,000, while other people like Martin gives you sometimes 18,000. I, I want them to do another double XP weekend or something soon so that I can get money because I am broke, as you can see, have $16,000, which isn't going to get you crap in life, in, or in GTA life. Like I just reached out and tried to grab my car. Los Santos is a dangerous place, and vehicle crashes are at an all-time high. No one knows this better than more spiritual <laughs> They're basically if trying to say that they know I'm about to fuck up. And we'll replace your vehicle free and they want me to uh, buy insurance. insurance is sold at participating garages. I kind of wish I had a bounty on me so some people would come after me because like, I want to kill some. But usually when I roll up on someone to kill them, they just like drive off like, fuck that. Actually, I can start using my AP pistol because I haven't been using it because it, it takes one clip to kill a car, or destroy a car. And I don't want to be broke, but now I can just destroy anything and not have to worry about shit except for my mental state. Which I really don't give a fuck about. But hey, let's be psycho and get people after me after all. And then lose it once I die. Steep, steep, steep. Double Mobile is on your ass. You better watch out, or else you will die. There we go. See you later, asshole. This got me a thousand dollars. I didn't even know that guy had a bounty on him. I thought he was just psycho. I'm just gonna turn music off because they're just gonna keep talking so there's no point of it. I bet that one guy has it um has me on his bucket list and he's gonna come for me eventually, so I gotta keep my eyes open in case he does come for me. And my bike's over here, so I remember I left it over here, so I'm gonna ditch the double O mobile. Put like some now nah, the real double mobile costs like six hundred thousand kind of thing but it is a beauty now i gotta hurry up and start my money before the one guy comes for revenge because everyone's driven on revenge in this game like me so if someone kills me i'm gonna chase them down for a while until they finally go away so i gotta get out of here don't know why my guy's hugging a tree his face. <laughs> nope. I don't even know what I was thinking right there. I should have got my BMX, which is actually good for jumping stuff. Let's try it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Wow, that's two fails in one, guys. Let's keep a fail count. We're at two so far. Next time I fall off. Triple deuce. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna have a move here. See if any good boats bonded. Oh, part er, triple dose? Is it a triple dose? Nope. Not yet. Oh wait, no, this isn't the right place I'm thinking of. Uh, oh. This is the boat place. I 
You're off the way, asshole. <laughs> they fell over the railing. Oh, it's just, uh, this is going to be interesting, guys. You hear this? Damn, there's shit by shorts. Shit, your shorts. Wow. What in the world? Oh, yeah, look at that perfect Willy. I hear you. Willy. Hey, lady. I don't know why, but I like riding bikes in this. I guess because of San Andreas, I was always riding bikes on that when I had a chance to. Like, um, the first mission, I would just, like, sit there instead of doing the mission, I would just, like, roll around on the bike, having fun and everything. I got the cops for killing that one with my bike. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna get off and look for a bike. Or, not a bike, but a boat. Man, no boats ever spawn for me. Oh, oh, is that a submarine? I think it is. Paul's right for that. Jerk. You know what? I gotta make sure he's dead. Alright, so I'm taking the boat. And I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> that was random. Diving onto a submarine like a bus. Alright, let's get out of here before someone comes for me. Oops. I cannot see where I am going. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. So I need to go over here. I'm, I'm actually kind of want, uh, wondering if anyone is going to try and get me. Now, if I know if I had a psycho ranking or a bounty on me, someone would probably come for me then. And then they would be disappointed by finding me underwater. And I remember one time, I was just chilling underwater in my submarine, and I had a bounty on me. And I was doing something else, and I looked over, and there's a guy, and he actually swam down to try and get me, and he ended up drowning right at the hatch. So he almost had me, which is a really good play. And if you would have got me, I would have been so amazed, but at the same time, furious. Because it was at the time in which I didn't have the um, achievement for surviving a bounty. It took me super long to get it compared to other people. Because I never tried anything to survive. I was just driving around always. And then I found that the funniest way to do it is drive around on the water in a submarine. Swimming on by. Fish, oh lay. Let's see my guy. Doo -doo. Now in real life, I probably wouldn't go in a submarine just because I would be um, scared as hell, thinking it might like um, go too low and pressure pressure might crush it, or else the window might open, um, get cracked and break, and water would come in. I've drowned, or else like um, sharks or something. Uh, there's lots of dangers in the ocean. They're also like pirates. Oh, you gotta be careful of them pirates. I'm actually gonna go to the airport real quick with this. It's actually really dark down here. I'm actually gonna go and meet up with this guy over here. Show off my summary to him because the airport, there's nothing important there.
Hopefully this guy doesn't go the other way. Come on back. Come on, dude. It's a submarine. I'm just like floating barely, so you cannot see me unless you have super good eyesight. Now you can see me. But if I go under just a little bit, no. Oh! That was a close call. That guy probably was gonna suicide on me. I didn't even notice him until the last second. Which is really good. Unless he's coming back to get me. Which by the look of it, he is. I don't know what that guy's doing. Hopefully he doesn't come in <laughs> to hit me. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Like I said, you can't trust anyone in this game. Well, if you had a tie-in, I'd be more concerned because in a tie-in, most people just suicide on other players, which is usually BS Central. Now there's someone over here on the beach. I'm gonna go say hi to. Do 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 do. Jaws moment. I'm like Jaws is sneaking up on this guy. Do 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 do. Dude, hopefully he doesn't go too far. Because this thing's pretty slow. And it's also gonna take me a while to get up to. I am surfacing. Hey you guy. Look you over here. Oh, I was gonna ramp that, but never mind. Now this guy's probably gonna kill me, take the submarine for himself, in which I will have to go revenge on him by going underwater and killing him myself. Pretty sure he just saw the submarine. Kinda like one of those on land boats right now. Oh. Uh, Land ho, boys! I'm just gonna leave this here for him. And then when he gets in it, there's gonna be a sticky bomb. You know what? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can just shoot it into the water. Shot too many times. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. See y'all later.